we are back with the replacing the contact or the touchpad for the MacBook Pro 13 inch A1708 model. Uh, it took some time on Amazon to get this touchpad. Um, we had tried replacing the cable. There's a previous part of the video shows that. Uh, replaced the new S-shaped cable. That did not help. Um, but now we actually got a new touchpad. I'm going to try the cables on it, uh, the existing cable on it, and then see if uh, that fixes the issue. First things first, uh, getting the back cover off. You flip the um, laptop and open these one, two, three, four, five, and six screws. Make sure you put them in order because these two are smaller in length and the other four are a little longer and all the same size. So you do that and uh, then you have to use a little pry tool here um, that is available in my little toolkit that I ordered from Amazon as well. So you kind of, once your uh, screws are out, you put the pry tool in here and uh, pry the thing off. There's a little hook uh, clamp that uh, holds the cover down here. So you need to make sure you kind of knock it out of that clamp and the cover will come off easily. And then uh, we'll get to repairing the, or replacing the touchpad. So let's get going and we'll be back in a bit. So we got the back cover off um, like that. Once the, um, screws are out you use the little pry tool like I said and then the holding clips clip and then you lift it up and pull it in this direction that's the back of the laptop and you pull it towards you uh, and uh, it comes off next thing you have to do is uh, well the tool that we used for taking out the back screws are AP5 here and now we have to take out these six or four one two three six screws to lift the battery section up so we can take out the touchpad before that we have to disconnect the battery disconnect the connector for this cable that is the cable uh, connecting the motherboard to the uh, touchpad so starting we we'll start off with the battery disconnection um, and then we take off this cable so um, we'll do that right now and uh, get back to you so this is the battery connector uh, it had a little cover on top you can just peel this one off just make sure you keep it in the right order these two uh, little pads on it need to be on the right side where the battery connector is and then there's a little flap you can see this guy move left and right you can use your nail to peel off the flap and then this battery connector kind of comes out of there and then just you just let it float here uh, these two screws this one and this one you need to take out to take out this cable. So that's what I'm doing right now. Once the screws are out, you need to make sure the thing is magnetic so they don't kind of fall in. Uh, and then this little cover that uh, covers it. So you put them in order like that. And uh, you can just use your nail to kind of, uh, or um, there is a pry tool I have for small spaces like that where you can put it in and uh, just kind of take this wire off. It is glued to the battery here, so you need to uh, pull that uh, away. Um, and uh, now we're gonna remove these screws. You don't have to pull that away right quite yet, but uh, you uh, will have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 these 10 screws so that the battery can be lifted up and the contact touchpad can be removed. Cable disconnected, new touchpad, put back in, cable connected over here on the new touchpad, and then we'll see if it works. So these screws here to peel off the section of the battery up so that you can take out the touchpad, these are uh, removable by T4 hexagon shaped uh, a screwdriver just so you guys know so that is again in part of my tool the laptop repair toolkit I bought from Amazon so let me do this and once I'm ready to replace we'll record that on how to carefully take out the uh, touchpad old one and put in the new one as we have all the 10 screws out and now as you can see when I lift it the touchpad just hang in there so what you have to do is take this wire 
or the cable connecting the touchpad to the motherboard kind of thread it through this little gap here so you can take the touchpad out and now the touchpad just gonna be sitting on the screen of the laptop and you can just take it out like that so it's not that hard um, once you know what the right connections are now this cable needs to go on the new touchpad and uh, just be careful this this cable is a little um, sensitive here but it does slide in nicely to the connector so uh, just be careful as you do that and once you have it slide it back screw it back on and we'll test it don't close out the laptop test it like from underneath here don't flip it upside down to see if the uh, thing actually works the new touchpad hopefully it does that's going to be my test so um, i will be right back once i have it the cable swapped over actually let me try to do the cable while the video is going on here i'm gonna keep it here take out the new one and just for safety's sake i do connect this uh, static discharge on my wrist to a metal piece here on my a working table so this looks like the bad boy right there we need I will clean it out a little bit show them what you need the air compressor duster cleaner one of the things that you have to be careful about is uh, when you take it out don't uh, flip this over because it has these metal pieces right on these screw holders to kind of not damage the metal underneath. So if you flip them, they come out and last time I did it, they fell all over the place. But you need to take them and uh, put them on these screw um, connectors here where the screw screws go in. So I'm gonna do that, replace the cable and then uh, we will come right back at you. So we have the cable connected to the new one, the old one sitting right there. Um, just slowly put the cable in from the right side and then from the left side kind of snug it in and slowly snug and push it in. Here's the uh, things that go on top of these screw uh, holders. So we put those, it's the two circular ones here and two rectangle, four rectangular ones here. So make sure you don't forget those. Next thing is slowly place it here, lift up this guy and Ideally, you should probably cover the screen, but I'm um, being a little cavalier here. Um, as you put that in, you gotta take the cable out through here like you did last time when you removed it. And then the big thing is to align the screws with uh, these one, two, three, four, and uh, the bottom two. And once you do that, you should be, yep, you will hear a click and the thing will sit nicely on it. And it looks like all the screws are aligned. I'll screw it in first, then connect the cable to the connector, uh, put the battery connector back, and uh, that should pretty much be it. And we can test the touchpad powered on based on you know, battery power and uh, feel the connector and see if the mouse moves. So that is uh, it. Let's see how it goes. Work. So we got the new keep uh, touchpad in nicely screwed on. I rebooted it when I tested it first. It didn't quite feel right, but I could feel this guy was clicking. So as long as you feel the click here, the previous touchpad was not clicking. So I shut it back down and then turned it back on and the mouse started moving. The keyboard was working. I was able to log in and everything worked. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and doodles. Peace out.